today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw some flowers in water soluble colours, so water soluble pencils and water soluble pastels using um, one of these things which is a water brush, okay so it's like a brush filled with water and it goes through into the nib and comes out the nib. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to pick a nice green pastel here and I'm going to start with the stalk of the pink flower. start doing with the pink flower so I like this magenta color I think it's perfect for this pink tulip so I've just picked this nice sort of cobalt blue pastel it would help me to know where the edge of the jug is that leaf okay I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna get the edge of the table in and then I'm gonna start adding water okay so now I'm gonna start using my water brush think about my leaves and I'm thinking which are the darkest part of the leaves. Where I see dark green I'm just gonna use the dark green colour. Kind of yellowy like I said so I'm gonna add a little bit of this golden colour to it. So let's start adding water to the painting. flower with squinted eyes. The darkest parts of my flower are inside, in between the petals, so here and here. So I'm going to draw those sections on. Using the finer brush I'm going to wash these bits out and then spread the lighter pink around using what's already on the brush. Use my scrap paper here, the blue, dark blue and black, makes a very, very, very light grey, so a watery grey, loads and loads of water. And just think, okay, so where's the darkest part of this flower? Again, it's on the inside. Okay, now I'm going to squint my eyes and I want to get the blue of the jug in. So with this composition, I've got two blues. I've got the blue of the jug and I've got the blue of the table. So I've got to make sure that they're going to be kind of adequately different. So it looks pretty dark on the inside. Now, it's really important when you're working with water-soluble pastels that you kind of plan out where you're going to put your lights because if you've made it dark, you can't then erase it. That's why I'm drawing round the highlight areas and I've got quite a few highlights on this jug and I've got to leave those empty. pastel on and then adding the water I'm going to mix blue and that purple to give me the, the darker colour for the inside of the jug because I can see marks going this way on the table or like the grain of the wood then I'm gonna sort of make my marks like that too how it changes the look when you when you add water to it and now all that's left to do is the stripes on the background so I've got yellow I've got green I've got red right so I think I'm gonna start with some red stripes so down at the bottom here I can see some red stripes so red which I might do some thinner stripes down here with. Now some yellow stripes. And then a red stripe. 
there's some green up there. So I think this piece is pretty much finished now and I hope that you've enjoyed watching me use the water soluble pastels and the water brushes and remember there's lots of other videos where you can learn to draw different objects um, with different materials. Mm -hmm.